Hey Garf Gang, and back to a Diablo 3 video, uh, and this is the final one from me for season 27. Um, I've actually did complete it. I was, um, as you know from my previous video, I was grinding out um, bounty caches. I managed to get uh, boss mode done within the community chat, Big Daddy Den 76 community chat. A lot of us, guy, four of us, got together and we managed to get boss mode done. So I got Conqueror. And then um, I've been running some bounty caches today and got a um, budish, the one that opens up the cow level. Went in there with my um, rift set up and managed to get avarice from a cow level. So I've actually done my uh, season journey and uh, now I've got loads of materials and crafting to do. So that's... Uh, I'm going to show you the build on the builds I've done on the Barbarian um, and how I got this far and uh, do some crafting and that'll be that. So yeah, there's the pet as you can see. I can't zoom in because it's uh, Diablo 3 but there's the pet and uh, you can see the portrait thing that's already applied. Um, so we've got, um, let's just switch over to the IK. There's all the band caches I've been farming up. So, uh, this is Immortal King set up, um, this is how far the gears got, I was trying to get ancient slash primals and everything, but um, yeah, whatever. Uh, so it's full 6k, um, 6 piece IK set, um, there it all is, some of it is ancient, some of it's okay rolled, there's the gloves. Uh, we've got a few of the ancients for Call of the Ancients, we've got our Traveller's Pledge with Bane and the Trapped. We've got Ancient Mortic's Brace. We've got Compass Rose that's rolled really badly with Pain Enhancer. And we've got Band of the Might with uh, Bane of the Stricken. And then we have got Echoing Fury and a Remorseless. And I prefer the Hota uh, variant of the Sanctified Remorseless. And this one has rolled very badly. Uh, I still haven't got one rolled perfectly with the right bonus on it so uh, yeah that's the um, Immortal Kings in our cube we have uh, Saffron Amulet because why not Braces of the First Man and Gavel of the Judgment skill wise we've got Reload of Furious Charles Mercer Assault Wrath of the Berserker Insanity Battle Rage Bloodshed Hammer of the Ancient Smash Warcry Invigorate and Call of the Ancients together as one with Rusliths, Nether Steel, Berserker Rage, Rampage. That is for GR Push. Uh, this is my bounty setup, the one I've mainly been in for most of the season. Let's go over to the cube. We have in here Band of Might, Mantle Channing, and Measure Smiths. And then gear wise, we are running the full. Um, Wrath of the Wastes set. So there's that. And the gloves, shoulders, pants, and boots. We've got uh, the same Mortix brace. We've got Squirt Samulet with a max, uh, almost max ride Boon of the Horder. We've got Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac with the Gizzard. And Taeguk in our Ancient Rachel's King of Larceny. Got Ancient Ambo's Pride. I blew the first one up without realising I needed it and had to wait about four or five days before I got a second one and it just happened to be Ancient. So yeah. And that's a, a different Echo and Fury because it's got cooldown whereas the other one had area damage. As for skills, we've got Furious Charge Must Assault, Warcry Charge, uh, Sprint Marathon, Whirlwind Wind Shear, Wrath of Berserk Insanity and Rend Bloodbath with Nerds of Seal, Unforgiving, Boon of Bolkathas, and Rampage. And finally, the final set, there's not that much difference. In fact, there's, if I remember rightly, there's one gem change. Um, we use Bane of the Trapped rather than a Gizzard. I think I'm supposed to use a Gizzard anyway, but I just, uh, whatever. Um, and we switch out the Wrath of the Wastes shoulder for Mantle Channeling. And then have mm -mm, gold wrap in our cube with Roy Ring of Royal Grandeur. And this is the setup I used 
with the uh, on the cow level to get my avarice. I wasn't intending to get it, but that's how I got it. This setup, oh, the belt is a sanctified lamentation. So, oh, with the hellfire amulet. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's the setup I used to get avarice to proc in the cow level, and um, that's how we did that. So let's now open up. Oh, all of our caches and do uh, see if we can improve some of our gear all right I'm not worried about uh, average so we'll just pop all these how much we can pick up before we run out of space in our inventory there we go um, let's uh, identify all this lot <laughs> see if we get any primals probably not but blow up the yellows let's have a look uh, I'm literally only looking for ancients and primals anything else is just going to get automatic blown up I was thinking about doing a support barbarian um, but I just it's a bit late in the uh, season for me to do that and uh, I, I just can't be asked. That's the reason there. All right, let's spend, uh, pick up the rest of this stuff, or how much we can fit in our bag. Oh, there we go. That's that lot done. Yep. It's the only problem when you save uh, loads of bounties, <laughs> doing it like this way, you end up spending a good while going through it all we don't need that for any build for the barbarian so that just gets blown up as well let's get these oranges off of the floor and we go for the yellows. Are we done? We are done. Oh, I thought I was got it done. There we go. And that's it. Now I've just got the two to do with the blood shards. Right, let's go and face Katana. We are looking for primal boots. One pair of orange boots. So we we'll just spam some more. those up I know act one is closer I just prefer the atmosphere of act two no, there's still some blood shards left on the floor oh this is gonna take a long time <laughs> <coughs> oh wrong place no it's still a little bit left uh, uh, all right, gee whiz. There we go. Let's have a look. No, nope. ancient or primal only. Everything else just gets blown up. Oh, ancient. Uh, they've not rolled right. I do use those on a build in non-league, they just have not rolled right, so they get blown up as well. Let's blend the rest of the blood shards from all boots, and then we'll open some more caches, that is. Uh, nope, and finally no. Right, okay, let's open the uh, 
other caches. Ah, oh, one set of bounties too many. <laughs> I'm going to do ten at a time, I think, just because it's just easier on the uh, blood shards, but it doesn't give me a lot of space. Well, that was a bad idea, Garth. Uh, oh, I'll just, just open more, sod it. It's going to be a lot of noise. It's going to take ages. Right, click all the orange stuff first, get it off the floor. Right, uh, death breath, all the crafting materials next. Right, I think that's about it. I don't actually think there's anything in Bounty Caches um, that is useful. Oh, well, I cancel. What was that? That was something ancient. Avarice Band. It's not rolled right. I'm the reason I'm doing priority on the oranges is because if the game crashes at least I've got the uh, I've checked for primals I mean I know Diver 3 is quite stable but it has oh forgot to identify them I know Diablo 3 is quite stable but uh, yeah it's um, just nice to make sure no reds at all. Uh, no, that's never used for anything. Again, don't use that either. Don't use that. Here we go. That's all that lot gone. All that more orange. Being a bit more picky now about getting stuff right now. We'll go for the yellows. I'm not so bothered about the uh, blood shards because they're the easiest things to get out of, out of everything on here. Pick up more yellows. There we go. ID. And while we're here, we're going to see Katana get some more boots. That doesn't look like there's anything nice there. Uh, Oh no, it's not rolled right. Oh no, that was a going too fast. Ah, uh, they'd have rolled all right. I could have used those. Never mind. Too late now. No. Throw these gems in the stash. That's it. Make some more space. Go over here. Uh, ancient or primals only. Nope. Alright, let's get the last caches out and pop those. Might as well. And then we're done with the caches. And it's just all of the. Uh, other stuff I picked up and blow those up. Let's go for some more boots. I've had a few ancients off of Kadala this season, but no primals yet, so never know our luck. Let's just stash those few gems. Blow this up. There we go. Nothing in there. Right, back to Katala and Boots. Nearly done with the blood shards. 
I think it's the worst part with bounty cash is having to spend all these shards because it just takes so long. I don't know what honestly I don't know why there's a cap on blood shards. It's just it's just it's ridiculous. They're so easy to get if you're willing to do bounties or in a community where bounties are shared. Um Right, that's uh, the last of the blood shards. One more round of boots. There we go, and that's it. I'll save the others for other things. Right, let's see if we got anything juicy. Uh, no. Oh. Uh, strength, fit, uh, mm. no, <laughs> well, so nothing out of all that lot, right, now we will work on the, um, set stuff that dropped while I was grinding, that's it. I do that. Let's see if we get anything out of this lot. That's on my wizard. I've got to have a look at that in a minute. Uh, no, all right. No ancients there. Um, I don't know what I need on that. I'll save that because I don't know what rolls I need. Uh, we'll put it in the monk stash for now. There we go, you sit there. Right, now on to the legendaries. Let's see if we get any ancients or primals out of this. I don't think I've got any primals because usually there's a red border around it, so. Uh, ancients are definitely a puzzle ring. That's no good. Oh, hello. No, it's not rolled max. All the things I want, ancient, and none of them are rolled ancient, and all anything that's no good is range ancient puzzle ring. There we go. Right, where do we get to here? I think. That's all empty. That one's empty. That's not max roll, no, by miles. I remember when this used to be the Enchanted's BIS weapon, huh? <laughs> oh, I should have saved that AQ and Fury, I could have re rolled it. Oh well, too late now. Might get another one. Uh, no, that's no good for anything. Nope. Lots of trash. Oh, there's another Echo and Fury. Must remind, remember to keep that. Oh, there's an Emmys. There's another Echo and Fury there. In fact, I'm going to keep those. There we go. Right, let's ID this lot. Doesn't know it's no good, no good. Oh, flavor of time. Have a look at that in a minute. Uh, 
remember when S of Johan used to be a follower best in slot item as well. I might save that for re rolling this follower, and that is not max roll. Right, 20 seconds right now. Get rid of that. Um, attack speed, area damage, cooldown. Nice. We roll lightning skills to a socket for. Oh, hold on. It's not a damage output, it's not a damage increase. I know they do do a lot of damage, but he doesn't die, so any extra damage would be good. Cooldown 6. It's got cooldown 7%, so this one's actually better. Alright, well, um, now what's his Nemi's looking like? Fizz, Crit Max. Yeah, so we could probably roll that Ancient. Right, let's put that in here for re rolling then. There we go. There we go. Right. Last few bits, one more in here. Oh, no, another Nemis. Right, let's go. Nearing the end of this mass uh, ID, and then we just got craft. Oh, that's another. Uh, what's it? That's not good for anything. No, it's rolled wrong. Another Nemis. No. That's no good for anything. And I've got a primal that I've got a primal in um non league Diablo three. It was my very first primal. Strong arm braces. What am I doing with this one? Oh yes, is it any strength crit? Right, oh, ask this one's got cooldown on there. Still no socket though. Uh, I don't like this. I need to find a different ring. I don't like the fear. I'm just following max roll. I might have to look into um, a different ring for this build. Um, I'm still be playing season 23. I just there's. Uh, I just won't be doing any more YouTube videos on there, so I know this is a bit of a long video, me just crafting and checking. Um oh no, I've got one of those. Oh, what's that? No. Oh, natural ancient one. Ha. Hasn't rolled badly actually. No, it's rolled badly. No, it's not ancient. Not ancient. And not ancient. Are we done? Yes, that's it. I think we are all empty now. That's my existing barb gear that I use. That's barb gear to take over. That's to take over the standard. And that's monk gear. That should be in there. Right then, last bit of ID. And then we can do some crafting and re-rolling. Bing. Let's have a look. I'm not even worried about that. Yeah, one of these ancient? No. Ooh. I need cooldown on this build though, rather than a damage. So we would take the attack speed off. And it's got fear on it. I hate fear. Why does it always have to be fear? I'm going to keep these and re-roll them, see if I can get Ancient. I need two different ones. If I can get a uh, GG rolled one, I can then take, hopefully, maybe re-roll the Fear off. I hate Fear. It seems to run away. I want to hit them and kill them. Right, so that's some re-rolls. Oh, I've got that Sanct... I've been re-rolling this um, every time I get a new Angelic Crucible. Um, 
and yeah, we still haven't got a decent one with the uh, right power on it. Right then, uh, let's do some oh, rerolls, reforges first, I think. Um, what gear do I want? This gear is pretty much done. I need to look at my IK gear. Right. Do do do. Reforged legendary. Go. Ancient. Nope. I want. Can I get rid of that? If I can get rid of the fear, this would be better. I can't get rid of the fear. It's a set thing. I hate fear. So annoying. So annoying. Oh, right. Um, I haven't got my spreadsheet open to tell me what the BIS is. Let me just find that. Uh, there it is. Right. We want GR solo. Damage attack speed percent area. We don't actually want strength. Damage attack speed. So we'd reroll the strength for area. Oh, nice. Is it still a damage increase? No, it's not. <laughs> one point damage increase one point <laughs> uh, and the, oh, it's got a less chance to fear which is what I like so we'll we'll uh, transmit this one what have I got it as conquest sword which is down there there we go pop that on and reforge this one if we can't get rid of the fear, we will make it less likely. Ancient? Nope. Because we've got to roll the strength off. So all the damage goes down. Boom. 2196. No. Because we keep getting the strength on there. I don't want the strength. Got to be careful of my forgotten souls because I need to do some re rolling. Come on, ancient. Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh. Nope. Oh. Oh. Last one. No. Nope. Right, fine. Oh, although that's got ten percent increased damage. If we take the strength off though. Uh, wrong person. I think I might actually keep it as it is, to be fair. I mean, you say ammo yeah, damage is BIS, but it's got chance to chill. The increased fear chance is better. Uh, no, we'll keep this one, I think. I might try and find a different weapon I don't I hate fear just hate it right then um, and we're gonna blow these two up and just, I'll have a look on the Diablo 3 thingy so you'll find a different thing right um right have we got any reforges to do to get better stuff 13 life that can come up to two Nice one. We'll leave that there. Uh, crit hit damage can go up to 50. Yeah, let's see if we can get it. Let this down. Oh. Wait. Three left. Two. No. One. Ah, uh, no, it's a loss. Right, right, put that back in there then. Uh, that's just to reload the socket. That can go up. What, 15? Yeah, 15. 13 is an increase. And this goes down 11. Come on. Right, that's that done. Uh, that's max life. What's that? Strength can go up, can't it? 
Yeah, 650. Yep, there you go. Immediate increase. Three left. Two. One. No, no, that's that done. That we rolled to the socket. That we rolled to strength. 484. We can go up to five. So we can get an extra 16 strength. Nope. Uh, armor 594. Oh, there's no point in that. Uh, we'll try and get the extra 1%. Give it five rolls, three left, two, one, nope, uh, we'll leave that alone, that's it, that's this gear done, right, let's go and have a look at the bounty gear, that's the other thing I normally do, kind of done with rifts, I might just uh, do some Bounties, I'm in the wrong place. Up to the enchantress person. Right, what we got here? That's maxed crit. Cooldown can go up 3%. Give this 10 rolls. Try and get that cooldown up again. Excuse me. Two more rolls. Come on. Wow, stingy. Nope. Uh, I'm sure it can go up to, is it 10 or 8? Eight? 8, that's right. Give this uh, 5 rolls. Yeah, nice. That re roll to a socket, re roll to a socket. That re roll strength 629. I'll give this. Uh, Six rolls. Three. Two. One. That's stingy. Uh, that's sanctified, so I don't need to reroll that. Armor. Five, eight, one. Might be adding a push another 14, 15 points. Yep, yeah, I'm all happy with that. Not a lot. That's max. That's max, and I'm not going to bother rolling that because I'll be looking for an alternate one, right? Um, and the only difference in the gear for the riff setup is the shoulder, I believe, and the band of might. Hmm, is that used on anything else? Yeah, it's the same band, so we've already tried to roll in that. Uh, probably the same as all the rest of the gear is the same, so it is just literally the shoulders which has got maximum cooldown anyway, so no re rolls very hard on that gear. Right then, so we'll go back to our bounty setup, ready for the next day. Um, and that's it, that concludes my season. I know this has been a very long video with not much to uh, look at apart from me spending a ton of materials. <laughs> um, Hope you enjoyed my little series on Diablo 3. I'll do another one in Season 28. I'm assuming they'll continue to do these seasons until Diablo 4 launches next year, maybe, or the year after. Thanks for watching. Stay safe in Sanctuary. Oh, I've got to switch screens because Diablo locks me to a screen. <laughs>